research has clearly established a strong connection between goal setting and success. But how do you stay motivated to achieve your goals? In this video, I'm going to share with you three secrets, or if you prefer, three strategies to stay motivated to achieve your goals. But first, an analogy. Goal setting is like lifting weights at the gym. If you stacked all the weights on the bar and tried to lift it, you would not only fail, but likely injure yourself. The same is true with goals. If you set yourself a goal to achieve something huge that you've not done before, it will either take too long and you'll lose motivation or you will fail and lose motivation. Frankly, a lot of BS is talked about getting out of your comfort zone. This can set you up for failure and kill your motivation. A much more psychologically sound strategy is to expand your comfort zone. This introduces us to the first secret or strategy. Set yourself up for an early win. When you see early results for your efforts, you're motivated to keep on going. So whatever goal you set, make sure that there's some feedback on your progress in a matter of days or weeks at the most. This secret is that we are motivated by process and progress as much as the final goal achievement. Look, if you want to get healthy, it's the process that's important. For example, each day walk a certain number of steps. You can be motivated that you achieved this process and even made progress on walking a little bit further or a little bit faster than last week. This is motivating. Celebrate the success that you made even if you didn't hit your final fitness or weight goal yet. Now, the next secret is to make sure you own the goal, that it's both what you want and within your control. Unless you're a CEO or an entrepreneur, it's likely that you have recent experience of goals or targets being set for you. This can be dem demotivating if you don't buy into the goal or the outcome has variables that are outside of your control, such as environmental factors. As mentioned, we can set process goals where we own our actions. For example, you can't control how many people buy your products or service, or service, but you can control how many sales calls you make in a day. Now, if you watch the movie The Pursuit of Happiness about Chris Gardner, the homeless salesman who became a stockbroker, then you see Chris setting process goals on how he approaches his call sheet and things like not drinking coffee so he doesn't waste time in the restroom. This introduces us to the third secret, purpose. When you have a purpose, your motivation goes sky high and stays that way. Chris Gardner had a purpose to get out of poverty and look after his young son. Last year, I had a big health scare just before my 60th birthday. And believe me, that has motivated me to look after myself. Now, I work with a lot of executives who want to make it to a senior leadership or C-suite position. And whilst the money is better at this level, they are motivated more by the purpose to make a difference and be part of the decision-making rather than just an order taker. So, Watch more of my videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel to find out how you can apply self-leadership to be the best version of yourself in life and business. And click the link below to find out more about my C-Suite Accelerator program. I'm Andrew Bryant.